Hello everyone, and as you can see on the screen in front of you, there is an incredibly ugly ship. But it's a ship that really gets the job done. It's by far the most effective ship I've used. You essentially, in short, want to use as many of the orange cannons as possible, but I'm going to walk you through the process for how I designed that one. You want to go to abilities first, and you want to put free into cannon. If you don't have the exact abilities or cost of making your ship as I do, don't worry, you can just try to replicate it to as much as I've done here. You should still achieve similar results. Next, you want to apply the defender and final force abilities if possible, but most of these don't really matter. The most important ability is the HP upgrade and the SW, haste upgrade. This, this recharges your special weapon. Cost converter is by far the most important ability here, as this lets us use more abilities more of cost to create our ship. It basically removes the gummy ships we have and allows us to use the cost of making them in place. You want to get the heal upgrade too and you also want to get the auto life upgrade as that will bring you back from death. With a few more points left to use you can just check into whatever you want so let's just say mobility or you can even go speed. It's up to you. If in this circumstance we'll go mobility. Alright we're gonna start. So you want to go straight here, and I choose this cockpit. This cock I choose this cockpit for a variety of reasons. Is one, it's quite small, and two, it doesn't cost a lot. Next, you want to go to weapons. The orange ones are by far the most powerful weapons in the game, as they're so much more consistent. The purple ones may do more damage, but I kind of like the consistency and how quick, how accurate these are, and how fast they shoot. Next, you want to apply these. And I am incredibly thirsty, so hopefully I can get this done without dying the first. I want to apply these cannons like this. Cannons are acquired, to my knowledge, from either the golden orbs you find around the treasure planet things. I completely forget the name, but uh, you probably know what I'm talking about. You, they're the ones you shoot to get like items out of. I believe you can get weapons from there. And you can, see, I believe, get weapons from random fights too. Only the first time you fight them and bosses, but and crystals. So just shoot everything basically. Next, I apply two shields. If you don't have shields, you will obviously die a lot quicker. But these shields give you a tremendous amount of defense. You could even substitute these shields with more guns or more power. It's entirely up to you. What I'm designing here is just a quick sketch, basically, of my actual ship. Next, you want to apply this. This allows us to see the health of a boss. I choose this one, mainly because it's quite cheap. Um, I always suppose you could actually go for this one if you really wanted, because that's even cheaper. Alright. Now the important part. We haven't got a lot of health, even though we have a tremendous amount of damage output. You gain... Freely place most of these pieces as you wish, but for this video here, I'm just going to show you a quick design. As long as all these pieces are used, they can be used in any configuration. So by using these, he's giving me 27 health per piece, so I have a tremendous amount of health on my side now. Next, I believe I applied these, because these give me quite a bit of health. Uh, like this. I think I use three of them because it lets me um, play some more movement and um, stuff. So this ship was built with the idea of defeating a super boss and in order to access the super boss which is like this whirlwind in the second region I believe um, you need the boost, you need over 200 speed which is what this was set up for. But you can substitute these speed upgrades for whatever you want. As long as things are in the box, that's basically what your ship will be. It, it Nothing needs to be physically bound to the ship. And uh, you can... I'm going to play these here for 219 speed. And with some pieces left over now, I could easily just increase the health of the ship by getting rid of, like, man, on one of these. And maybe this. No, that's not going to work. Oh, that's a shame.
but you can easily add pieces in to, uh, there you go. So I have 608 HP, which is slightly higher than the build I shown, and other than that, everything else is the same, except that I have minus four to roll in and one mobility, but it's more or less the same design. I'm going to show a video now of me fighting the super boss. Obviously, this doesn't look pretty, so you can configure the placement of things and the basic gummies as far as you want. You can, as long as this configuration is the same, you will do the most damage possible. And uh, of course, if you can't meet exactly what I have here, you can easily substitute certain cannons with other things or upgrades to increase your damage or pow your power or your HP. But the key rule is to stick to using the orange cans because, as far as I'm concerned, they're the best. Thank you.